Hey everybody, welcome back to Move It Monday and week three of our glute camp. And again, today I'm coming at you with two activating and two strengthening exercises. Uh, I'm gonna work away in reps of 10. You can um, increase your reps or you can do more sets, whatever works for you in this process. And we'll finish up with um, a really great stretch that I like. What you'll need today, a couple of face cloths. Uh, yeah, Wicked Washcloth is getting added in here because it is a fantastic way to activate those glute muscles and really tone in and feel your glute working. That's the whole thing here. And it doesn't matter whether you're practicing yoga or working out or anything else that you're doing in your life. Becoming mindful and aware, being in your body, cueing up the muscles that you want to work and, and knowing that while you're going through an exercise that's supposed to work those glute muscles, if you're not feeling it in your glutes, then probably something is not right. And there are uh, circumstances, and especially if you spend a lot of time at a desk or, um, yeah, mostly it's sitting, uh, where even though we're doing the exercises, the, if the glute muscles are not activated properly, they are not going to work when you are strengthening, okay? So the activation process is crucial, okay? Especially if you've had, you know, kind of long-term wear and tear on those glute muscles. So really getting in touch with activate, strengthen, and stretch, and know that what you're doing is affecting what it's supposed to affect. So we are going to start today's um, activation in uh, coming up onto our uh, knees. And I'm going to have you lean over onto your hand. So we're coming into a balance here. So the knee wants to be under the hip and we want to open up across the chest, again with those two panes of glass. All right, if you can't come down this far, you can get a block, you can come up on your fingertips, whatever, whatever works. Um, I often do these using a stability ball underneath so that I am supported. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift that leg out to the side and we're gonna come forward and tap, bring it back to the back, tap. All right, so coming back to that center, line at the ankle at hip height and just taps. Think about those glute muscles. Use the rest of your body to stabilize and think, as I'm moving my leg, am I using my glutes? Wake them up. Good, once more to the front and to the back. Good, bring it in. We're gonna switch sides. So coming over onto your other leg, coming out to the side, find that balanced place. We're gonna lift up. We're gonna reach to the front tap and to the back tap. So the crossover is bringing the foot back up to hip height. Reach, touch, good. Try and make sure that the rest of your body is engaged and activated. Muscles holding you in place. Chest is open to the front. Good, once more to the front and to the back. Excellent, bring it back. I like to give myself a wee stretch after these, so bring the knees wide and just drop yourself down into that stretch. Second activation exercises, we're gonna come into our bridge position. All right, so get yourself down on your back. Feet are planted. So as we lift to the bridge, what I want you to do is reach overhead and then down. Lift and reach, so squeeze up and reach. Little twist and reach. Try and keep those knees driving forward. I would recommend that you don't use the big hair clip 
on the back of your head while you're trying to do these. Last one, each side. Excellent. Catch it and bring it up. Our activation exercises, those two, coming into our strength exercises. And I'm going to have you today coming into a side plank from your forearm. I like to roll up a little bit of extra mat. And so elbow is under the shoulder. And again, we're lifted here. We're not, you know, sinking down into this. We are lifted and lifting. You're gonna stagger your feet with the low leg forward. And we're gonna lift. This one immediately. <laughs> Good, last two. Excellent, set it down. That's a tough one. Coming into the abductors, the adductors, the inner thigh, the glute, the whole package has to work there. All right, so elbow underneath the shoulder. Stagger those legs, core engaged, lift up, pull it up, and then lift. Straight up, it's tough. Last one, <laughs> uh, yikes. All right, that's our first exercise. Those face cloths that I told you you were going to need, let's grab them. We are going to set them down on the floor. Bring yourself around. We are again coming into forearm plank with toes on the cloths. So shoulders over the elbows, holding your best plank, legs open, close for 10. Think about this, use those glutes. Squeeze, everything is activated. Lengthen the spine, crown of the head reaching. Two more. Excellent, there you have it. One round. I would strongly encourage you to make this a three round program, all right? So, Going through the activation three times, going through the strength three times, not back and forth. So activate, 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 strength, strength, strength. And today's stretch, I'm gonna use the pole behind me, but you can use a wall. What I want you to do is bring your bottom as close to the wall as you can. We're gonna cross our right ankle over our left knee, and then I'm gonna have you lift up and pull that knee in, all right? So figure four, seated. Lift up long. And as you get kind of stretched out, you can slowly bring that leg in a little deeper if that's available. Relax into this, feels great. Allow the knee to open, you can give it a little Persuasion if you like. And then release. Good, we're gonna switch up, other side. So I cross that ankle over my knee and then I slowly start to bring my leg in to where my stretch is. Oh, feels good, doesn't it? Hopefully you're enjoying this glute camp. <laughs> Don't neglect the rest of your body so um, you know, get some crunches going, some core work. Maybe next next month I think I'm gonna work away on upper body and um, we'll throw some core in there just to keep things balanced and you can keep coming back to these glute camp exercises to round things out for yourself. Anyways, that is it for this Move It Monday glute camp week three. Uh, let me know how you're doing and hopefully this video finds you ready to move your glute. See you next time.